Hey, presenting numbers is an essential part of most business presentations. It is also the most vulnerable part because most business presenters lose their audience while presenting their data-based slides. No wonder the chart slides are called the landmines of business presentations. Every time you take your audience through your number slides, you are bound to lose a few. None of the courses, books or workshops on PowerPoint teach you how to visualize your number-based slides. Even if they do, they stop at introducing you to some basic chart tools in PowerPoint and that's it. This is obviously inadequate. No wonder most chart-based slides in a business presentation bore the audience to tears. There is an urgent need to rectify the situation. You need a course that helps you make clear and insightful charts, tables and infographics that make your audience understand your message quickly and take the action you desire. That is why in Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program, I have included a massive section called PowerPoint Charts, Tables and Infographics Mastery. This arguably will be the most comprehensive, creative and practical course on presenting numbers that you will ever find. By the time you finish practicing this section, you will be able to make charts that are not only clear but look stunning and creative. Your tables will be easy to understand and your infographics will look like the ones you see in leading financial magazines. With that said, let us explore each of the modules in this section. The first module teaches you how to master the chart tools in PowerPoint like a pro. It is divided into two segments called Chart Basics and Chart Formatting. In Chart Basics, you will learn the basics of working with charts like how to insert a chart and understand the common terms used in charts, how to add or remove chart elements, etc. You can pause the video and take a look at the various topics covered in this segment. In chart formatting, you will learn the essentials of formatting your charts like a simple trick to increase font size of all the elements inside a chart, how to format axis in your charts, etc. The lessons in these two modules will give you the necessary foundation to go to the next module that teaches you cool things you didn't know about PowerPoint charts. The 8 interesting tricks and techniques you will learn in this course will make your charts stand out from the usual boring charts used by business presenters. You will also learn some useful tricks to save you time while creating your charts. In this course, you will learn things like how to save a chart as templates so you can create the same type of chart with fresh data complete with style and formatting in a matter of seconds instead of creating it from scratch every time. How to save your report presentation as a template the right way so you can update your report for the next month by just replacing numbers. There are more such useful tips and techniques you will pick up in this segment of this course. You can pause the video and take a look at the topics we cover here. The key difference between an effective chart and an ineffective chart in a business presentation is an effective chart makes it easy for the audience to understand the information. Unfortunately, none of the usual courses or books teach you how to make your charts more readable for your audience. In this program, we focus significantly on improving the readability of your charts. Let me show you some simple things you will learn that improve the readability of your charts. The usual books or courses teach you how to create a line chart like this. Though the chart looks fine, the problem is your audience needs to refer to two different axes to read the values for each of the months. That is quite tiresome. Now you can make their life easier by adding data labels so they don't have to refer to the vertical axis anymore. Now this is a far easier chart for your audience to read. But still, there is a bit of difficulty to match the data point with the right month in the horizontal axis. We can solve that issue by adding a drop line like this. This simple tweak can come in quite handy when your chart has a large number of data points like this. Let me give you another example. The usual books and courses teach you how to create a basic column chart like this. As you can see, it is not very easy for someone to compare the performance across quarters. What if we could improve this chart by providing different colored columns for each of the quarters. Now it becomes much easier for the audience to compare the performance across quarters with this simple hint. 
or you can add a multi-level access that makes it easier for your audience to compare the performance across quarters. I teach you such simple tricks that make your charts more readable than the usual charts you see. Then I show you the right way to use charts from Excel in PowerPoint. These tips will make your slides look more professional. The tricks and techniques you will pick up in this course will make your charts stand out from the usual charts that your audience sees every day. The best part is none of the techniques that I teach you take more than a few seconds to implement. However, even expert users of PowerPoint who have been using the software for years don't know most of the tricks I reveal in this course. So far, we've just warmed up. Now, we will learn how to create advanced charts in PowerPoint like a pro. In this mini course, I will teach you how to create 9 advanced charts that will make your number slides convey more insights in a matter of seconds for your audience. The best part is, you can learn to create these charts even if you have never used Excel before. The step-by-step -step video tutorials make it easy and fun for you to learn these techniques. The first technique is to apply conditional formatting for your charts. Instead of the usual chart like this, which has the same colored columns for both positive and negative values, your chart can now have different colored columns for positive and negative numbers. I'll show you how you can achieve this in just three clicks without any need for complex formulas. Then I'll show you how to create designer 3D column charts in two different ways. One that uses just a smarter gradient fill and the other that uses 3D effects on charts. Yes, you can achieve this effect even if you use PowerPoint 2013 even though the option is not listed readily. Then you will learn how to create a chart with secondary axis like this. This comes in quite handy when the data series have vastly different scales like the ones you see here. Then we have a step-by-step -step written tutorial on how to create data-driven thermometer charts like this. This is then followed by a video tutorial that shows you how to create multiple thermometer charts like this to show target versus performance reports. These visual charts are clear and memorable for your audience. Then I'll show you how to create specialized charts like a radar chart, an XY chart and a bar of pie chart in PowerPoint. I explain how to create each of these charts from scratch and tell you where to use them in your business presentations. You will pick up some new ideas in using these charts even if you are familiar with these charts already. These advanced charts are bound to make your charts stand out from the usual run-of-the-mill charts you find in the boardroom. Then we explore an interesting segment called creative ideas for clear and memorable charts in PowerPoint. In this, there are nine awesome videos that teach you cool tricks like these. To give you a taste of what you will learn in this segment, your column charts need not look plain and boring like this anymore. You can tell a story by highlighting a specific column to draw your viewer's attention. You may also add a comment on a certain column or differentiate a data point with differently colored data label. You can take the same chart to a whole new level by using graphics like this. Yes, this is still a data-driven chart and it takes just a few seconds to achieve this effect. All these are simple tricks that make it easy for your audience to get and remember your message. And you will learn all these easy tricks right inside this program. Making a chart memorable involves overcoming some of the inherent limitations imposed by PowerPoint. For example, when you try to add data labels to your area charts, you end up getting a mess like this. There is no option to add data labels at the top. In the program, I'll show you how to overcome this limitation by using the power of combination charts. Can you see how easy it is to read this area chart now? None of the usual courses or books teach you such insider tricks. I even show you how to take the power of combination charts to the next level by highlighting certain columns in a chart. So you can easily compare the performance before and after an event. I also teach you how to create a control band to add context to your performance numbers. This control band allows you to quickly see the values that are going above or below the desired range. 
do any of your usual books and courses go this deep of course they don't by the way i've also added a few more creative lessons in this section like creative ways to show target versus performance totally unusual ideas to create data presentations instead of using just powerpoint charts five useful tips for better data presentations and five creative data visualization ideas you can use in your next presentation then we have an entire mini course on the secrets to creating stunning looking powerpoint charts there are nine step by step tutorials in this segment that show you how to take your regular charts to a whole new level in terms of their visual appeal the techniques you will learn in this course are shown here you can pause the video and go through the topics to give you a taste of a few lessons from this mini course you will learn how to showcase a chart like a picture as shown here you can use this technique to refer to a chart shown earlier in your presentation you will also learn how to apply hand drawn effects to your charts to create slides like this right from simple tweaks like adding an arrow head to the lines and the axis of your line charts to sprucing up your pie charts with a frame like this or adding a serrated edge to your pie charts like this you will learn some truly creative techniques that make your chart slides attractive from converting a usual 2d pie chart to a 3d pie chart like this to creating an interesting donut chart to mimic infographics you see in finance magazines to adding context to your area charts with a relevant photo like this to placing your chart inside a creative placeholder like this you will learn techniques that are easy to implement and yet look stunning on your powerpoint slides next we will deep dive into a mini course called all about animating charts you will learn everything there is to know about animating your powerpoint charts to tell a powerful data story that captivates your audience for example take a look at how we combine chart animation with text animation in this slide on the first click i show the two axes in the chart once i finish giving the context of the chart by explaining the two axes then on the next click i have the first data series displayed with its associated explanation then on the next click i have the second series with its explanation displayed then on the next click i have the third series with its explanation now if you see the way in which chart animation is done regularly you will never have the option to combine the chart animation with its associated text animation as shown here once you finish learning some very interesting tricks and techniques about chart animation we move on to three super quick hacks to lift up your chart slides you can implement each of these hacks under 40 seconds and you can see the impact immediately then we end this chart related segment with a mini course that details a number of useful best practices related to powerpoint charts that you should know the lessons you will learn in this mini course are as shown here you can pause the video and take a look at the topics discussed here i'm sure by now you would have realized how deep and comprehensive our training on powerpoint charts is while charts are a great way to visualize numbers they are not the only way to convey your numbers if you have fewer data points you can get your message across far more forcefully and creatively using infographics that is why we have included a full blown segment called creative infographics mastery in this segment i show you both data driven infographics that use the chart function in powerpoint and editable infographics that use just creative auto shapes to convey your numbers first we will learn how to build creative editable infographics here again we have both the 2d and 3d version available first let us explore the 2d version of the infographics this one is simple and shows percentage occupancy you might have seen charts like this in financial newspapers we can create this chart using just auto shapes i'll show you how to do it in a step by step way in a video tutorial the next one is accurate slider infographic even though this is made using just rounded rectangles i will teach you a cool trick to ensure that your infographic is totally accurate when it comes to representing percentage completion then we have quick and easy battery infographic that uses the metaphor of battery to represent percentage energy 
Then I show a simple trick to take these editable infographics to the next level by replacing shapes with meaningful icons. These charts convey more information than the ones made with just boxes and circles. Then I teach you how to create editable dial infographic. This uses the well-known metaphor of fuel gauges to represent numbers or even qualitative performance. In the next segment, we will see how to build creative editable infographics using the 3D tools in PowerPoint. The infographics you will learn to create are Thermometer infographic created using just auto shapes Filled sphere infographic This tutorial also teaches you how to create transparent 3D spheres which is a bonus. Then we will learn how to create semi-transparent jar infographic. Here you get to learn how to create hollow cylinders as a bonus. Then you will learn how to create column chart infographic created using auto shapes. Then we move on to creating race positions infographic. Here you will learn a cool trick that makes it possible for you to achieve this angle for your arrows. This creative trick will really surprise you. We then go to the next segment which is a mini course called how to build creative infographics and pictographs that are totally data driven using PowerPoint. The topics you will learn in this segment are as shown here. You can always pause this video and go through the topics. To give you a taste of some of the pictographs you will learn to create in this segment, you will learn to create this one which is used for surveys, which is totally data driven. If you want to change the value from say 3 to 2, all you need to do is to right click and go to edit data and you can change the values in this accompanying worksheet. Say instead of 3, if I want to say 2, you can see that instantly the chart updates itself. The same way we have other pictographs like this that add spice to your chart slides. The last part of this section is PowerPoint Tables Mastery. The three segments in this part of the course are Mastering the Basics of Table which has 10 lessons, All About Animating Tables which has 4 lessons and Creative Ideas to Spice Up Your Tables which has 5 lessons. The first segment familiarizes you with the basics of inserting and working with tables in PowerPoint. The lessons involved in this segment are as shown here. You can pause the video and go through the topics. I teach you simple tricks like how to move around a table easily, how to beautify your tables by applying styles and formatting options etc. I also share some interesting facts, tips and techniques you never knew about tables. That makes this segment fairly comprehensive. Then I teach you how to animate your tables. There is no native way to animate tables freely. I will teach you a number of useful workarounds to animate your tables and keep the audience engaged all through. Finally, I give you some creative ideas to spice up your tables. The techniques like creating tables with rounded corners, using peeled sticker effect, 3D block effect etc. are not taught by any other books, workshops or courses. By now you would have realized that there is no other course in the market that even comes close to the level of detail and creativity you would find in our PowerPoint charts, tables and infographics mastery section of our program. When you create charts that look as good and insightful as the ones we teach you, your audience will be fully engaged with your number slides instead of tuning out. When your presentations are successful, you will naturally feel more confident and achieve progress in your business and career. The best part about all this is, all the tips, techniques and tricks that I teach you in this entire section are easily understandable, easily implementable and they are all taught to you in a step by step way with screencast videos. You are also given downloadable PowerPoint files for you to reverse engineer and learn where needed. I have included text based lessons where it is essential for you to go back to the instructions frequently. That makes this section comprehensive, creative fun and practical. Let us move to the next video which explains the details of the next section. I'll see you in the next video.